Hey Five Makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and I'm really excited because today we are memory keeping. I am so excited to use this photo journal from the Happy Planner. This is one of their new products they're releasing for their summer launch. Again, this one right here is gonna be available only at Joanne, but there are additional ones that will be available over on the Happy Planner website. Um, I'm trying to remember the names of them. One is called Love This Moment and the other will be the Rustic Blooms such beautiful um, photo journals as well. I think I'm going to be purchasing the Rustic Blooms because I love the pink disc on it. If you want a closer up look of it, again, check out the uh, preview up on the Happy Planner website or check out the squads video. I am pre-filming this, so when I decide to put this up, maybe the launch will be going on already. The launch for all the Happy Planner summer release items will be going live on June 24th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. But that's enough info. Let's go into planning. now a little details in regards to this photo journal. So this photo journal is not a planner. So if you think it's like the uh, older versions of memory keeping that the Happy Planner came out with, it used to be a vertical box um, layout planner theme, but it is not. It is a template guide um, and it's so easy. I at least think it's so easy. I haven't used it yet, but I think this is so easy for people like me. We're like, tell me where to put the picture where I journal and I can throw some stickers, make it super easy for me. And it's a couple of stickers, that I, or excuse me, photos that I have to put, I don't have to fill it up too much. I mean, you can add more if you want, but I love the concept of having larger sizes for your photo templates. So this is like for four by sixes, and then I can journal a little, add some stickers, which I love just the way this is laid out. I'm really, really excited for this. So I think this is gonna be so, so fun to do. Um, I'm gonna, this is my first time actually like using this, so I'm gonna try to figure out what apps we should use. I'll give you guys these, we'll see. We'll do this together, y'all. We're gonna work on this together. So if you've already ordered it, again, if this has if this video is going up before launch or after launch, but if you're planning on ordering one of these, I wanna see how to use this, what to, you know, what apps to use. We're gonna work with it together. Now, um, what I have here in front of me is a Canon selfie. I purchased this a couple of years ago. I love having this at, on hand at home and you could print from your app. So this is what I have ready to go. I went ahead and ed uh, edited all my photos in Lightroom. Love using the app Lightroom. Now that we're gonna be getting into like photos and um, just having fun, definitely recommend using Lightroom. Um, it's super easy to use. I love it so much. So um, I think maybe later on I'll do a video of how I use Lightroom. I do have some uh, live classes that I've done over on Instagram. So if you go on my IGTV section, you will see, um, I believe it was like my photo editing apps live i show you how to use lightroom in there a really quick like look at it so definitely go check that out if you want a little bit more information or you can just look here on youtube that's how i learned how to use it uh, but i went ahead and already edited everything so it's easy for us to just get to printing these out and uh, having fun so there's lots of pictures with my girls out in cali we also did a uh, day at huntington beach so so exciting and um, i have it already i saved it on the folder so again i recommend if you are using like an ios system or even your android um, saving your albums under folder so when you come and do this it makes it as easy as possible so you don't get like overwhelmed and be like oh i need to print this now again this is if you're printing it but it still works like if you have it here in your folder and you use a uh, site like Walgreens, you can do online, uh, pick out your pictures and then go pick it up, go pick up the photos, have them print it for you. Um, so you can do that as well. Um, but I wanna do this here. I have some washi tape, sticker books. I have the newest one from the summer launch. This is part of the Disney Oasis line. This is Oasis Adventure. I wanna get my hands on the Oasis Icons one. So um, again, I'm gonna be, or I have my list of things that I'm ordering. <laughs> But this one has some really cute like uh, clear stickers back here with decorative elements and some boxes. So I could definitely use this. Okay, so some other tools that you'll need um, if you have this on, you don't need this, you could cut it with scissors, but I definitely recommend getting a, a paper slicer like this. It's really easy to have on hand and you can cut straight edges and don't have to worry about like, you know, miscutting it with your scissors and having to print a photo out again. I think this is a great investment piece. And this one I believe was like $12 at Michael's. So use a coupon. And then of course you'll need some tape runner to um, tape down your stickers. I like using the, uh, the AgTech one, Crafters Tape. Um, so I just wanna make sure I mention everything you'll need. So what I'm thinking, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go through all these photos y'all in this video, cause it's gonna take forever. But I do wanna do a couple of sheets just to show you guys. Um, what how to use this and like I want to use it and show you and bring you guys along so I'm um, trying to remember which section do I want to dedicate to travel I like feel like this one will be fun for like adventures 
because the great thing about this is like you can divide this in sections so like i can keep this dedicated to like chance and me time chance again is my son so it'd be like mom and me time maybe this will just be like fun like memories uh, just that i have throughout the year i love this one too this is so pretty but i like this one that says adventurous calling because i feel like this is like my travel section for some reason i feel like okay i went out and did a spur of the moment travel trip so we will dedicate this to travel and i love this divider so what i want to look at first is what do i want to print out so i wonder if i should do this first because i could still leave these ones for other things now this is the thing you have to think of too is like how are you going to start it are you going to start with this section or this and then kind of lead into that <laughs> let me look at the pictures real quick i think i'm gonna leave this for like the beach day because i feel like beach day we had a couple more pictures trying to look trying to look trying to look from right here this one like to do the beach one It'd be so cute like the beach day with the girls like that'd be cute because i could make these into four by sixes so let's do that first so let's print i'm just going first to see what i have to print out before we actually start decorating okay so let's go on my canon selfie and i'm going to use that app first and see if they have the option to print in different sizes because that's how i've always printed on this uh single photo smartphone and then i'm going to go in my disneyland where's disneyland do i have disneyland in here there it is okay and let's i just want to see if this is going to work how i'm expecting it to okay will that be four by six um i'm thinking will that be bigger hmm okay let's just go with that one and see okay so we're gonna print that one first time trying this one out guys and i'm going to show you how this does oh it's not loaded in sorry my bad okay so there it goes so i'm pulling it back a little bit because the, the photo comes out if you see it right over here right there's the photo and then it's doing the yellow color first let me show you the screen so that's how this works sorry about the noise but i just want to show you how this machine works it's so cool to have it i like having this because i print smaller photos um and i make four photos in one of these sheets now how i get these sheets also once i run out i purchased this on amazon and it comes with 108 sheets and four or excuse me three ink cartridges so you could print out 108 four by sixes i believe these are yeah these are four by sixes okay so i was just making sure they're four by sixes um but i get i divide them into four sometimes so that would make it two by three so that would work for this one's two by four so that's the only thing is like i don't know how i would do that i have to figure out that one Okay, so cute. Look at that, guys. Aren't the ladies beautiful? So look, it fits right there. And with this photo, this is not how long it is. It has like a little perforated section here. Now, when I say um, that slicer, the paper slicer, is when I make it into four photos in one little sheet. That's when I bring out the slicer. But see, I have my picture here. And y'all, it fits perfect. Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then I would put the other one. So what I think I'm gonna do is like lay, I will lay this one down first and then put the other one here. And it's so, it's so, so cute, super cute. <laughs> okay, so let's print out the other one. I'm just um, trying to see how this works and bring you guys along. Cause I know we're gonna be wondering how do we do this? For those of us that aren't professional memory keepers, um, I can't wait to see what Michelle does. So I'm gonna print out this other one because it is in the four by six, kind of like it's in the landscape. And this is a silly one. We did a regular one and a silly one. So I love these two. I think this will be perfect. And then I could print out some smaller photos. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So let's print this one. Okay, so both photos are printed. Oh my God, how cute is this? I love that they have the four by six option. Um, so I remember seeing like always like that small two by three to make it fit in the vertical box style planning. So I love that this is a little bit more relaxed, more fun and like kind of like scrapbooking. But how cute is this? Oh my God, love my girls. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out if I want to do like this or like that. I think I like it better like this, it, this one overlapping. 
So those two are ready, and then I can memory plan here. And I have some stickers. I brought some extra stickers out that are like summer themed. Um, so now what I wanna show you guys, because I think maybe I should just stick, maybe I'll save Disney for another day. Let's try just doing this, because I feel like it's gonna take forever, y'all. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can do just some different ones that um, don't even have to have like the, the prompt box. Like you can still do it on these ones that are aligned. Okay, so under NUP, I think that's what it's called. Um, you can choose like up to four pictures. So for this one, since it's the beach day, I do want to have some fun beach pictures. So we'll do that one, that one, that one, and that one. Because you could do up to four, so I'll put okay. Now see how it does four photos? So you have your four photos ready to go. And it's easy again because I already edited it. It's ready for me. All I have to do is print it out. And I don't have to worry about like, oh, I have to edit this. Like take your time and like edit them and have them ready to go. Okay guys, so we have our picture set for this first section. And um, I think it'll be fun. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I know it's not like in chronological order, but it's totally fine with me and I can always like move these sheets around. They don't have to go in the exact order. For me, it's fine. I just wanted to use this because I really like this and I think it's like the perfect size for um, this one. And what I'm gonna do, end up doing is, once I do uh, Disney, I'll move some of these sheets over to this side. So it'll be my like Disney section over here and this will lead into it. So that's what I love about the, the Happy Planner, you know, system is you can move sheets around so the disc planner system so that's why i'm like perfect so let's just stick to this beach day that's what i'm going to do with these like how cute is that and then i could kind of journal each thing so cute i think i want to do this one over here now let's do that one this way and you could even do it like straight like that just depends on how you like what it looks like. Okay. Just gonna see how I want this to lay. Maybe like that. And this one down over here. And that way it still leaves me space to add stickers and also journal. I think I'm gonna keep them straight just so it looks clean. I like it looking clean. So now that I know where I'm gonna lay everything down, um, we can get to tape running it. So I'm gonna tape it down first. And for these, just to make it a little fun, um, I might put like a box behind it. So let me bring out Summer. because so I know Summer has some fun um, items. So let me just tape these two down because I know those are just gonna stay how they are. So what we're gonna do first is tape this one down and you bring out your tape runner. And then all you have to do is just run it along your photo back. A couple of strips down the middle. So that's ready to go. And then you just gotta line it up. I'm just gonna make sure it's lined up to this. And I'm just gonna tape this one. I love that it tells you what size to print, where to place it. This is easy peasy when it comes to memory planning. Um, the one thing is, this has the same kind of designs through some of the sheets. So it has 80 sheets worth of memory planning, or memory keeping, excuse me. Uh, but it's 20 different designs. So 20 sheets, like it's a set of 20 um, sheets that have like the same design um, dispersed between four dividers. I hope that makes sense, y'all. <laughs> Rustic Blooms one that will be available on the Happy Planner website. So that one's another fun one. So you can alternate between the sheets. So it doesn't have to just be all um, this theme. I love this theme. This is my fave. So I'm excited with this one. Um, but I do want to incorporate some of the other ones just because it'll be fun. I think this is a really fun concept. So before I tape these down, I do have washi that I want to incorporate. And then I also have the summer book. So we have these taped down. That site's done. How easy was that? And then I just have to come in and fill this out, what I will. But um, like, look at these cute little boxes. So I'm thinking at the end of the day, your feet should be dirty, your hair messy, and your eyes sparkling. Oh, so cute. So I thought I saw like some like ocean themed ones. Oh yeah, like look at this. Feeling tropical. This is where this fun stuff happens. <gasps> Here is a uh, hair is up. Sunnies are on. The world is off. Okay. Um, I love this too because that one goes with that theme. Okay. So we're gonna do this one right here. 
it's kind of like you're doing your decorative element in regards to how you plan, but then you have like photos included, so it's really fun. So I'm gonna tape this one down. I came in with the thought that I was gonna do my Disney and all these other, but like, you know, when you start filming your videos, you're like, okay, this is not, good. this is gonna take a little longer than I thought. So we are just gonna stick to beach day for today. <laughs> okay, and then I do wanna, ooh, look how cute this washi is. It has the beach vibe to it. Oh, and I can also use this to kind of memory plan. I think I'm gonna hold off on that one just right for now. I mean, I have the lines there to journal, so I think I'm gonna try using that. But I wanna see this one. Yeah, that's cute with the little ocean. Let's do it right under here. Oh, that's cute. Okay, but let me make sure it's straight. Okay, yes. Isn't that cute, guys? Oh my God, I'm loving this. <laughs> okay, this is making me happy. Because now I'm gonna get to see all these pictures and they're all printed out. And I'm gonna have fun doing it because I'm using my stickers. I have it in a discount system. I think this one goes here. So for this one, since I use a sticker, I'll use a sticker for this one so it balances. I do want to use this really pretty washi that I have. Got it at Joanne. It has like blue. Let's just do like the, kind of like this. And I'm gonna do the rip effect because I know I never like to do the rip effect, but you know what? Let's have fun with it. Okay, that's cute. I like that. And then, for that one, which one should I do? Should I do summer vibes? Ooh, this one's kind of pretty too because it goes with that coloring. Look how pretty that is. Yes, so again, this one is called Summer and this is available on the Happy Planner website. I believe it's on sale currently. So definitely go check it out if you're gonna purchase anything during this uh, summer launch. Go check it out because I believe they're gonna have some sale items. So. Go check that out and see if you want to add anything else while you're getting these items out of the way. And get ready for memory planning. Yeah, I want this one to be higher than that one. And where's this one going before I lay it down? Okay, that one's, that one's gonna go there. So wait, this one should go right there. Okay. And that one can go, I think, that one. Right. So I was gonna line it up. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, I think it still looks good like that. I really like this one with the palm out exterior. So I think I'm going to add this as like a cute little journaling section right over here. And then I can lay this one. And this is Natasha from La Casa de Natasha. Um, she has her YouTube channel and she's currently on the squad. Um, so Ashley, Sarah, and I were on the squad uh, 2019, 2020. And Natasha's currently on the squad 2020, 2021, so it's fun to hang out. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? <laughs> I love this. So I feel like I want to carry some of this washi up over on this side, maybe. Let's just do a little right over here, like that, just to bring a little bit of it from that side. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I am loving this. <laughs> All right, and then should we do some washi on this side? I just wanna see what it looks like if I do it like that. Okay, that's kinda of cute. Does that look cute? I'm trying to see if I like this. Yeah, I like that. See, we get to use our washi. See how easy that was? It's just some stickers and that. And then I do have some decorative ones, which I wanna use. Um, don't tell me I'm just gonna to stick to one sticker book for today. All this moving around and I'm just sticking to one it looks like it oh look beach day oh here we go these are really cute sandy toes put that one right there and I could journal right there sun kissed super cute I think I have another one. Oh look, they got the beading suit one. Come on, how cute is this? I 
So I could still journal right here, but I do want to journal there and I want to journal a little bit in this side. But isn't this so cute? Oh my gosh, I love this. And I think I want to put the little sandals because they kind of look like the sandals I had on that day. Put some brown sandals on. Put that right there. And I want to put some, I think I have, um, let me just check real quick. Summer vibes. I wonder if I pulled it out. If not, I'm gonna. I think it's in my go my go wild little mini sticker book that I made. Oh, this one's cute. So much happy. Oh, I wonder if I could do this one. No better time than now. I like this one, but how can I put this in here? Oh, that'd be cute like that. See, and you can overlay on your sticker. <gasps> or excuse me, your photo. Guys, isn't this cute? Okay, I'm kind of happy the Happy Planner came out. It's going to be like this. It's so fun. I'm loving it. Oh, this is so cute. I think I'm going to add one of these here. Good times. Maybe good times. Like right like this. Oh, see? These are so cute, these little flags. I never thought of using them like that. Okay. Uh, love this. Be cute on this one. Because yeah, I love the beach. I just want to stay there. Honestly, I just want to stay for the day. The whole day. I felt like it was like too short for me. I'm like, I just wanted to stay a little extra time. Okay. I wonder if I could fit this in here somehow. I could just journal in here. I'm going to use the lines. Okay, let me see how I can do this. Hold on. I'm going to lift this guy up. Hopefully it lifts up. Okay, cool. Do that one like that. And then put the sandals down. Alright, you guys are seeing that? So I'm going to put here just like who it is. And then this one I could put Sarah right here. And then I could journal a little bit here. Oh, fun. Okay, I think that looks good. Let me just check this one sticker book. So I have, um, I like this. I might add a little bit of these. So I put it in this one. I did a, like a Go Wild sticker book DIY. And I put them on this one. So that's why I know they're over here. Like these palms. And I like the ones with the black and outline. Oh, it's white. Ah, <gasps> cute. Okay, so I'm going to do this right over here. That look good right there. Actually, yeah, I think it's good right there. Okay. I think I had another one. Where did it go? Put one on this corner right here, and then I could let me plan it. See, you can make it work even though it has like this boho vibe, you can still make it work with the uh, the beach theme. I wonder if I could do one of these little palm trees. on this bottom one. Like that. And to cap it off. Okay, cute. I wonder if I should put those sunglasses over here. Yeah, I think just like right there. Okay, I think that's perfect. Now we just gotta fill it in. Alright guys, so it's Pretty much laid out in regards to photos, stickers. So the last thing I need to do is fill in information. And like, did you see how easy it was? I mean, it was just trying to figure out like how to print the pictures, but this like these blank ones that they have, there's a, a few of these blank ones. You can print out the photos like I showed you in different sizes, and then they match the vertical box size, and it's like so cute. And then I love that they have these options for these bigger size pictures. So now I'm gonna come in and just fill this in. Um, so this bottom one says where, when, who. So where it was. Um, Huntington Beach. California. And 
And then when it was, this day was June 16th, which was my birthday. I'm gonna do something like that. My birthday. Okay, who? And then it was Ashley, Sarah, Natasha. And me. Of course, I gotta throw myself in there. There we go. <laughs> All right, Vibe Makers. I think this section is done. And did you see how easy it was? Again, I selected this. I'll probably label this um, with travel. And I do wanna do one for Go Wild. So I think I'm gonna save this one for Go Wild, the one that says Wild at Heart. Um, I love this one. And I just wanna save this one specifically. I could always buy an extension pack and add like any other any more but I want to save this for the wild <laughs> but like I said you can use each of these dividers to separate each section and like I said I'm gonna come in and uh, switch the sheets out from this over here maybe even add some of the extension pack ones to have a little bit of a different design if I wanted to but you guys this is so cute look how beautiful this looks with the colors and everything so I'll bring this up close again this is a big size memory keeping photo journal um, this is 11 discs so it's like eight and a half by 11 size. Uh, so you get lots of space to memory memory plan and everything. So there we are. And see how easy it was just to add stickers on top of this, add some washi. And I love this little section where it, it prompts you to fill in information. And then this one, it's just lined. So I use some portion of lined and then some I just added boxes because I love stickers. And see how easy it was to add these little cute flags on top of the photos, overlay a photo on a vertical decorative box, and um, just add these cute little stickers too. Washi, so fun. I love this. This I'm excited to do. Super easy and fun to do, and I can't wait to keep working on this. So again, I probably will be doing the Disneyland just on my own. I'll put some music on and have a nice little snack. I think I wanna enjoy doing this as well. I don't want it to feel too where it's like gonna be a long video. Um, so that's why I want to stick to this. I think that's the best way to do it. So when I have time, I will come and hopefully film a video here on YouTube. If not, I'll do it on Reels, but I can't wait to see what you guys do with these memory uh, keeping photo journals. They're so much fun. This one again is sold at Joanne, this specific design, but they have some awesome ones available on the Happy Planner website, which I'll link down below. Um, if you decide to purchase one, if uh, you guys um, use my affiliate link, I would greatly appreciate it because again, it just helps me to keep creating content and uh, just buy stuff to be able to keep filming here and also over on Instagram. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with me for a portion of my trip. I know I didn't show you as much um, in regards to Disneyland. Didn't use those Disney stickers, but don't worry. I will be using them. So stay tuned and keep an eye out on my Instagram because I'll probably show it over there. Just like a quick snippet. Like I said, I want to enjoy doing this as well and then film sometimes um, how I'm doing it. And it's just fun to come bring you guys along. And, um, again, thank you to my ladies for uh, making it such a fun birthday. And um, it was so fun to memory plan this and just look back at our fun memories. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um and like i said i cannot wait to see what you guys do with it um let me know down below if you are excited to try this out this new style of memory keeping this photo journal leave it in the comment section below i'd like to hear um, what you guys plan on doing if you do decide to do if you're going to separate it in categories if you're just going to uh, take out the dividers and do it a whole big you know item maybe you can even switch out and make it expanded just and have a really big <laughs> memory keeping photo journal but this just was so much fun. So thank you guys for coming along, seeing how I did it. Hopefully it was informative in regards to the Canon selfie and like just the process of getting the photos out. Again, that's just one way you can print it out. You don't need to have a printer. So um, hopefully I can do a little bit more research and share on my Instagram stories what apps you can use in regards to printing out photos. But I'm grateful I have that. And if you are interested in one of the Canon selfies, again, my Amazon storefront link is down below. Um, you can just purchase it from there. And again, I do earn a small commission from that. So I appreciate you guys' support. Anyway, you guys support me. I really appreciate it. Even with just a kind uh, message, I love my vibe makers and I really, really appreciate it. And I filmed a video, so I'm excited. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this and catching up with this trip. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Welcome if you are new. And hit that notification bell to let you know when I've posted my most recent video. And as always, guys, peace and love.